Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Quite Played Minecraft Bucket List. Though so I've got to be a little careful here because I was pretty much up all night here and I'm at risk of getting killed by a couple creepers so there may still be a few wandering around. Um, I am on 1.10 and I've got to say something about 1.10. 1.10 is extremely, extremely stable. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some stuff. I've never really been able to do 32 extreme fancy graphics. Um, smooth lighting and all that good stuff and then check this out. I've never used mid map I've never been able to just try linear mid map or anatropic filtering times 16 or anti-aliasing 16 I've never been able to have all of these things on now Of course, I have some of these on which has helped things But it's just crazy that I have all of this on and it's actually making things even better um, I didn't quite do anything with this did I? I don't know where I want the, the cloud height whatever it could be as high as it wants. I'll, I'll just leave it alone I, the only thing I haven't done with this thing, um, I don't know if I want to use it. Whatever. I'll leave that alone for now. Don't want to mess with my game yet. But yeah, so now I can see what looks to be another jungle out there. Um, but that's okay. I want to be able to at least have the challenge of trying to get jungle wood from this set of trees versus that set of trees. But I don't know if that over there is an island or not. So I may want to take a visit over to those jungle wood to see what they are. And I do have my coordinates here, and I can also see my little pirate face there. And we're going to have to go take a quick quick trip over there. So I'll be right back. I'll meet you guys over on that side. Okay, guys. It looks like it's another jungle island. I'm not entirely sure if it's an island. That one over there definitely looks like an island. This just looks like a tiny small island. This is kind of cool. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean here. This is actually really nifty. Um, but yeah, the ones up here, it does look like... It does look like an island. There's mine back there. And I just have to remember where this is located. And so um, as I travel around, I was going to attempt to get jungle wood from one area, but now I have this entire forest here. And I might also look out and finding cats. I would love to get at least a couple cats to keep creepers away. That would be a real nice blessing to have. Yeah, this definitely looks like a second island, just a bigger one than the last one, which is super cool. I like my little tiny island. This could be my nice harvesting aisle, or whatever you want to call it. And for all I know, there's some spruce over there. Oh, that's nice. Um, for all I know, there could be one of those little temples in here. So I'm going to have to go take some time eventually explore this island. Maybe I'll luck out and find one of those little jungle temples. That would be super nice. Then I would have a place to live here. Yeah, this is definitely an island. You can tell. Why is there spruce wood? Look at this. Two pieces of spruce on this island while everything else is one big giant jungle. Oh, wait a minute. It's not an island. It's hard to tell, but I think it I think it links up. Oh, wow. Look at this. It links right into the Tiaga here. This is so nice. Wow. Yeah, so 1.10 is rather interesting. Um, they added... Quite a lot, actually, quite quite frankly, and I'm surprised they just didn't want to wait. Um, they literally went from 1.9 to 1.94 and just jumped, in my opinion, jumped right into 1.10. And so I'm like, why would they do that, right? Why? Indeed. So they added things, as you know, like polar bears and little baby polar bears, which would be fun to see, but I don't know if I'll ever see one for a very long time. But... Probably some of the things they've added the most that I will eventually get to see is, um, what is it? Fossils, that's what I'm thinking of. They added fossils, so I'm like, what? There's fossils in the game? And they're like, yes, there's fossils in the game. What does that mean for Minecraft? Oh, that's just kind of a pretty tree. So I'm gonna try to wait until these degrade and I hope, I think I'm missing one here, but I, I hope it will fall apart. We'll see what happens there and the sun will probably set on the way. Um, I'll take this one. Yeah, so the fossils are really interesting. They, you can get fossils somewhere, what, 15, 24 blocks underground. I don't know what fossils actually do or what the purpose of it is, but I do think it's kind of nifty that they included this in the game because, um, shoot, why wouldn't they, right? You would think there'd be fossils to find underground or whatever. Um, they added things like mushroom can actually be bigger than the large mushroom that we all know and love. Um, they added, instead of, you know, some of the zombies will turn into zombie husk, I guess. And I wonder if they're taking that from Mass Effect because there was, um, husks in Mass Effect. And I think that's what they're trying to do. Just take this husk thing out of Mass Effect and call it theirs. Um, so I'm like, sure, whatever. It works for you. It works for you. 
I need to get up there a little ways. Yeah, so there's a number of really interesting things. They added magma blocks in the nether. They added some things where you can craft um, bone meal into actual bone meal blocks, which is super cool. You can also do, uh, you can also do the same thing with um, nether wart, but the only problem with nether wart, if you craft them into blocks, you'll never get them back again. So I look forward to hearing all those people who crafted th things into nether wart and found out they didn't get anything in return. Um, did I not get, oh good, there's one right there. There is a bl grass block, no, that's, that's not a grass block, that's a um, jungle tree block. Oh good, good, yes, that's good news. I want to try to get as many jungle trees as I could possibly get, but jungle trees have like the worst drop rate ever. And this one's actually quite good, so I gotta give it some credit. So I'm putting the tree back. By the way, what nether brick is now going to be used for, which is gonna be super cool, is making red nether brick rather than the customary black that we we're so accustomed and used to. It's now gonna be able to create a red flavor, which is by combining essentially the red and black ne nether wart and the black nether nether brick together, which I think is gonna be a really nifty feature too. Um, and also, skeletons are now gonna be considered stray skeletons. They're not going to be like, you know, so you can have a random skeleton show up in your world. And this almost feels like the one that showed up in the nether where just, just random skeletons just showed up that wasn't supposed to be there. And so I thought that was really nifty that you can have random skeletons show up and it's gonna be a little annoying, but I can work with that. Um, what else? What else is new? Oh yeah, um, there's gonna be a new abandoned mine shaft and that mine shaft is gonna be sitting in, oh, what's it, what, this is actually sitting here? Probably was, let's move that over then. Yeah, so we're gonna have mine shaft in the mesa. I've yet to find a mesa in my single player world, so oh well there. Not gonna see that for a little while. Um, I think this tree's about done, not gonna get attached to the rest of the tree. So I managed to get a good 62 pieces of jungle wood, a sheep, and anything over here? I guess I have to replant the tree that used to be here. I guess it went here? Eh, we'll see. Or I could just put it there, that'd be fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna take my 62 blocks of jungle wood and hop onto my boat with my new sheep friend. Hello, sheep friend. Uh, I don't want to have to see your rear end like that. Let, let, don't be shy. Come on, buddy, don't be shy. Come on, I can't even see you, this is not fair. Well, whatever then, sheep. Um, let's get my bed, get it, out of, get it out of the way. We're gonna take my jungle wood and we're gonna take my newfound four things of jungle tree and we're gonna take all of this back over to that island. And I'll probably end up coming back here in a little while, but we're, we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna end up, no, 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 I wanna take that one. That one coming with me. I guess we'll take you, Cheap. But um, we're gonna go and figure out how I got over there, first off. I'm a little lost right now. This is not always fun when that happened, but oh well. You look like a bird now, my goodness. So we're gonna stick some, oh, I don't know dirt there just so I have a way to um, grow some of this stuff and we're gonna grow all four of these somewhere around here oh by the way the auto jump the auto jump is some neat 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 little feature here I guess I'll put the last one here yeah the auto jump is a super neat feature so you can see I'm not even having to push jump or anything and I automatically jump over everything which is a super neat feature. I actually thought this was gonna be the auto jump, but it's not, okay? So I'm like, okay, whatever. But it works for me, okay, guys? So in the meantime, while these jungle trees grow, I'm gonna eat some food, and then we're gonna go find a little spot over there for our house to go in, and we'll be back for these trees in a little bit once they get a little older. Hey, guys, I just wanted to point out where we left off, and um, I just have to find a melon, a single melon. I don't know how I'm gonna find this again. And by the way, the um, dynamic lighting, check this out. Look at how cool that is. It lights up the area around you. I'm just gonna stick a torch on this melon so hopefully I find it eventually down the road when I need it. Um, I think it might be the only melon on this particular jungle island. I think guys, I wanna stick my little tiny house kind of right in here. It just looks like a really nice spot, at least a, a ground house anyways. I wanna put a ground house somewhere right in here. And you'll notice I have a little bit of space and I can use this tree trunk as part of the walls. 
and I can have it go out at least a little ways out and kind of mesh up into the walls here at least a little bit. Um, is there anything for this tree or is it part of that other tree? I think it's part of the other tree. I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to put my house right in here. And what I have to do is I have to tear out a number of these trees here. So I'm going to start with the first one, work my way around and eventually take out the last one. All right, guys, I'm kind of concerned. I'm wondering, I prefer to have the logs on the inside, but at the same time, I'd rather not have this just standard box shape. So I may just bump things out just by a single block, just so I have a little offset type of thing. But I don't know, do I want this inside or this outside? You know what I mean? And so I'm going to try just one side of this and bump this out outward by one block outward. So let's see, let's see what it looks like. Okay guys, this is a bit of what I've got here. So this is still very much a work in progress. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, come on, I can't get up there. I'm not entirely sure overall about the um, overall flavor, but I do like the shape. I do like the shape and how the shape looks. So if I could ever get over there so I can show you the shape, you, you'll get a better idea of what it looks like. Oh, come on, there's no way up. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's try to get up here. Wow, there it goes. Aha. Yes. Up, up. There we go. Perfect. Now I am up mostly. Oh, come on. There's no way up. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Shape. So I pretty much got a box ish shape here, and I'm having some trouble right about here and what's going on because of the corner issue. And I've got to have this piece stick out a little bit, and that's right on the corner. And that's the problem I'm having at the moment with the corner pieces. Everything else seems to be working okay with the exception of this one corner piece. There's gonna be another um, line of jungle wood right here. So that will cover this one up and another one going right there and that will cover this up. I'm leaving this tree in as a way for me to get up, up onto this thing and eventually up to the top of this thing. Um, let me go over this away and you can kind of see it popped out this way a little bit and the build eventually goes out that away a little ways. And right now I've just got it enclosed. And I thought about having windows here and here, but it just didn't really fit very well. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep this like this or not, but I thought I could do this sort of thing where I have like a jungle wood type of setup right here. So I might just fill, it, fill that in with jungle wood because it actually looked kind of good. And I might do that on a few walls, just kind of give it a jungle wood flavor. And so I do like how this turned out right now, as of right now, my entrance is actually right here, which goes right to my portal, which is actually kind of a convenient entrance, but I'm not entirely sold on the entrance either. I kind of prefer the entrance be right here, but then I've got this, of course, wonderful piece of jungle wood right there. And I could also put the entrance, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. I could also put the entrance here, which would fit so much better if I put the entrance right about here. Um, so entryway is still work in progress, still debating on where I want that. This is going to be a definitely definite window. That's going to be a definite window. And what else? What, what, what else is going to be that? These three, well, this used to be a window right here, but now it is no longer. And I might yet still put this one as a window. I'm still, still kind of debating about that. But yeah, so in the meantime, if you guys like this episode, please do give me a like, subscribe, and definitely leave, leave me a comment of what you think of this jungle build. It's starting to get quite big. Okay, I, I intended it to be kind of a small little house thing. And I've kind of probably overdone it now because now you can kind of sort of see it from far away. But I'm going to intend to cover this up with a bunch of jungle trees eventually. So eventually I will have a bunch of jungle tree leaves covering a lot of this up actually. And whether or not I put a window here, I don't know. Let me show you what's behind here right now. What's behind here right now is the side of the mountain. And that's why I opted to take the window out here. Else I could just rip this out, but I thought, you know, keeping this flavor was actually kind of cool to have that little extra flavor in there. So for the time being, I am currently thinking, okay, I can't get in, there we go. I'm currently, oh no, I broke that one. I'm currently thinking this will make for a, a nifty little storage closet right there. Um, this is gonna have to get trimmed when I put the roof on. So eventually, eventually that will get worked out. And how did I get nine extra blocks? I don't know where nine extra blocks came from, but whatever. 
I've got the nine extra blocks. Yay! So here's a little bit of what I'm thinking. It's going to go like this, and then there's going to be another layer of tree there, and that will help solve that issue. And this really could make an actual doorway be much more feasible, quite frankly. I'll lose a few, but I will gain a better doorway if I put it right here versus over here. And this side can end up being covered up as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we'll we'll see what happens. I'm gonna call it quits for right now, and we will see you all next time. Bye bye, guys. The dynamic lighting is super cool. Look at this. Isn't that neat? It only works a certain distance, though. At some point, at some point, it basically fades out, and the arrow just kind of sort of disappears. Oh wow! It worked all the way over there.